Come on into the room. Come on in. Come on in. Let's talk real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get my um, tea in for the evening. That'll be my tea for the day. I drink my tea once a day. And um, I'm getting ready to sit down and watch a movie with my family. So, um, come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. And what you hear in the background is my family. I'm here in the kitchen getting ready to uh, mix my tea. And then I'm going to go sit down and spend time with my family. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around. If you catch the replay, just go ahead and hit hashtag replay. Also know that I am, uh, if you're following me, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. You can follow me uh, on other social media platforms. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Dolores Franklin. You can follow me on Twitter at Ask Dolores. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Dolores Franklin. Mm -hmm. I am getting ready to sit down and spend time with my eat, spend time with my family this evening. We're gonna watch a movie. The movie has already started, but while I'm sitting down, with my family watching the movie, I'm gonna drink my tea for tonight. So I have everything already prepped. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see what I'm doing, and I have everything already ready. I have a cup of hot water. I have a half of a lemon. Hey, Jenny. I have uh, my tea. I have some ground ginger and I also have some honey and what I do the first thing I do I go ahead I pour the tea in and mix this is great for cleaning out all sorts of type of toxins in the body that we get from food and drink that we eat I'm also going to go over here I'm trying to do this with the camera. Hold the camera and use my head. How's everything going for you, Johnny? I saw them hamburgers and french fries that you uh, cooked today and had going on for sale. I'm going to tell you one thing. That's a blessing because if I was there, guess what? Uh, your girl here would have been there, honey. I would have been there getting me a hamburger and fry today. Trust me. That looked is so good. While I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and another tablespoon and normally you all of course it wouldn't be this hard if I wasn't holding the camera but I normally do a tablespoon per cup see and I'm making a mess but I'll clean it up okay oops missing some I want all of it I want all of that I want all of that okay two tablespoons of honey I'm sprinkling some ginger in there. This is some ground ginger. You actually keep it stirred up. It will, sometimes it dissolves and sometimes it doesn't. But as you drink your hot tea, you can stir that up and drink it. Because the ginger does have a tendency to settle to the bottom of your cup. Half of a lemon. Squeeze that all in there. I like to squeeze it all. And then I'll turn the camera back to me so that you all can actually see that I actually do drink this tea. So that, of course, I'm going to drink the tea and stir. And then we're going to be ready to drink this. And I'm going to turn the camera around while I work on cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. I have an issue that I don't like the kitchen being left dirty. So I like to clean as soon as I finish using it. Now, while I have you all on here, this is the question that I have for you all. What are some of the precautions that you're doing to protect your family and yourself during a time like this? What are some precautions at home that you're doing? Now, some precautions, everybody's uh, being very clean and neat, sanitizing. I can't tell you this much why everybody's running out looking for all your Clorox and disinfect and alcohol and stuff. Just know that some of the household detergents that you do have around your house will work with warm water. 
If you're using dish towels and sponges and mop, definitely make sure that once you finish using it, you clean it. And I normally have a tendency to sanitize my mop with warm water and vinegar. Let it soak a little bit. Then after that, I rinse it again with just hot water. And then after that, I wring it out real good. And then I um, let it air dry. That's one thing that you really, really want to make sure of. So now what I'm going to do, I am going over to my desk. And we're going to sip tea. Washing hands, cleaning with Clorox. Exactly. Clean, 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 clean. Right. Um, another thing that we can do also is if you got disposable, which we don't have money to waste like that. But you definitely want to sanitize and air dry everything that you use your towels your mop. excuse me y'all i dropped the camera as usual y'all know i'm clumsy um another thing you definitely want to do you want to clean those doorknobs i got two grandchildren in the house and i'm in and out of the house every other day or so give or take we keep them in the house as much as i go out to different places i can't come in a lot of parents I do want to say a job well done. Hey, BJ, a job well done by keeping your kids out of harm's way. So I haven't been seeing a lot of kids out, so that's a good thing. Wash your hands, wash your hands. I know I get tired of washing mine. I know I get tired of seeing them getting ashy because normally when I'm always got my hands in water and disinfect, I forget to put lotion back on. That's normal, okay? One thing that you definitely want to be mindful of, clean those doorknobs inside and out. Imagine how many people touch your doorknob. Even someone that's delivering a package to your house. They might knock on the door and sometimes people have a tendency to twist your doorknob. So you definitely want to be able to um, clean those doorknobs. Another thing that you really want to think about, we're in the kitchen a lot. We are in the kitchen. It tastes just like ginger. It tastes like lemon. And it tastes like honey. I can't taste the tea. That's one thing I like about that tea. It has no flavor. It tastes just like water. We're in the kitchen a lot. We got everybody going in and out the kitchen and they snacking and they eating and they doing all this sort of stuff. So one thing that we need to do is make sure we're cleaning them dough knobs. You know, the knobs on the kitchen cabinets and stuff. You definitely want to clean that. Um, another thing that someone is touching, especially I got kids in and out, my grandbabies and stuff, and I don't want to give them anything is cleaning the handle on the refrigerator and the freezer. We don't think about that. But I make it a habit that when I'm in the kitchen, even before any of this came around, I always clean my stove, I always wipe down my refrigerator, I always wipe down, wipe down my counter because that's the way I was raised. So I do all of that as a habit. But a lot of times, you know, um, you can, we ain't gonna go there. But anyway, Another thing that is very, very mindful during this time, and none of us think about this. None of us think about this. Not even I didn't think about it. Well, somebody might, but I didn't think about it. Although the kitchen is being used a lot, are we aware that we all inside our house and the bathroom, the commode is being used the most? The commode. Hey, K Kaylin, thank you for coming aboard. Thank you for coming inside the room. The commode. So why we're not cleaning the commode handle that we flush? Think about it. At home, we don't think about cleaning. You know, uh, using our we don't use our foot at home to flush the commode. Now I know when I'm in public, I use my foot to flush the commode. I use my foot to open up the door. I use my elbows for a lot. But when we at home, which is our safe place, we don't think about that. And especially when we have company come in and out our home. We never think about cleaning the commode handle. Now, don't get me wrong. Of course, we wash our hands afterwards, but still, but still, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We don't think about stuff like that. Because a lot of times, yes, we wash our hands and everything, but what happened? We wash our hands, we at home, and what do we do? We grab that same doorknob. That same doorknob was the doorknob that somebody that came inside the restroom, like I do, I don't just close a door, I turn a knob and then close the door and let it go. So what did I do? I just touched a doorknob. So that's just some things that I was thinking about. But I just wanted to sip a little bit of tea, 
Let you all see that I do detox my body. I detox everything that needs to be out of it. All the stuff that I don't need in my body, I detox it. And God in heaven know I need to detox today because guess what I did? I cooked a pot roast. And you know how we do it. You know how we get down. So, yeah, we had some potatoes. Yeah, we had a little rice. Now, you know I ain't supposed to have both starch, but I did. And so, hey, beef takes longer to get out of the body. Beef can take up to seven days to get out of the body. Well, I don't need any of that being stored in me. So I choose to get healthier by drinking the tea to get the detox. That ain't no big deal, but I like to share stuff like that. It's still a little warm, but it's worth it. Now's the time to just... Keep everything clean as possible. Um, what's some other things that we do? We at home all the time. You know, make sure that nobody's sharing the same towels. Nobody's touching the same towels. You know, have a basket set there. End of the day or whatever. You got your washcloths. You got your hand towels. You got your bath towel. Making sure that you wash them. Making sure that you dry them and put them back up for reuse. Because you got to think about it. If there's kids around the house, what's the first thing they do? They're going to grab anything anything they don't they're not mindful about what they're doing so that's just a little bit of things i want to talk about about a few things that i was mindful of is cleaning the door knobs cleaning the cabinet knobs cleaning the refrigerator handle cleaning the freezer handle because we're spending a lot of time in our home which is a safe place but we definitely want to keep it safe at all times so definitely i have a tendency before the night is over with I have a tendency, I make sure I sanitize the kitchen down at the end of the night so that when I get up in the morning, I start the day off in a clean and sanitized uh, kitchen. Same thing with the bathroom. I know my daughter think I'm crazy sometimes. I'll get some Clorox and spray on a paper towel and there I go cleaning doorknobs and stuff. I'm just making sure that my family is a-okay. You know, so it's definitely making sure that we're a okay during a time like this and all the time because once you start doing stuff like this, it become a habit, it become custom, it become a routine. It's no big deal. So that's why I kind of look back and think about it. I like saying everything they're talking about, we should have already been doing that anyway. Besides the social distance for six feet, but how many times are we really sitting close to somebody? Half the time it is still social distancing. You know, when you sit across the table from somebody, if you really do the measurement. Yeah, you know, but either way go, it's just doing what's best for you and a safe place for you and your family. Yes, my family's waiting on me. They're in the middle of looking at a movie and I'm going to join them and hop over here and get on the love seat and watch a movie with my family. That's the reason why I wanted to come on early and chit chat with you all. Let you all see that I am actually drinking my tea. I, um, pretty cool pretty cool to sit down. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting up in age like the old folks that I grew up with because you always see them sipping on something warm. I always saw them drinking on coffee and it, it tickles me some time when I'm holding a cup in my hand drinking drinking something like this. I'm like saying wow, we are becoming those people. Wow. You know, and you laugh about it. But it's a, a laughter is in a good, good, good way. So once again my tea, warm Detoxifying and uh, detoxifying my body from all the food that I have eaten today, from the drinks that I've drinking today, and from the air that I breathe because I did go out today and I had to go do some grocery shopping and run some errands. So I'm making sure that I don't keep anything in my body. And what I like about that, I don't have to worry about my body turning anything and storing it into fat. And I don't have to worry about any parasites inside my body. So I'm getting rid of all those ugly bugs and worms or whatever you want to call it and at the same time i like this too because a lot of people have a hard time going thing but people have a hard time going to the restroom and this is something too that helps as well not doing any medical claim uh it helps me keep my blood pressure lower it helps me keep my sugar level lower it helps me keep my inflammation lower so I don't have the swelling on my ankles. I, I'm back wearing my ankle bracelet on my ankle. So I have no compl no complaints whatsoever. And down the line, I'll be able to do some show and tell. But I choose not to do a lot of showing and tell. I like to just talk about some things. A lot of times we, we have a tendency to show too much or, or we do too much. And people are like, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. People want to see so they can be nosy. People want to see so they have something to talk about. I want to be a messenger to talk about things that is good for us as a family, good for 
what's good for us in general. Anything else I'm not worried about. I'm not proving nothing to nobody. I don't care if nobody never do anything for me because I serve the one and only true living God that sits high on the throne, the only king. So I'm not worried about anything else. But anyway, I still got a half a cup of tea to go. And it is still a little warm. But um, I don't want to stay on here any longer. I hear my grandbabies in the back. My daughter's trying to keep them quiet. And, of course, you know, it's real hard to keep a five- and a four-year-old quiet when they know that we are supposed to be watching a movie together. So what we're going to do is end this. I want to tell everybody, enjoy your evening. I do appreciate you all hopping on to the live. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to inbox me. And do me a favor. If you find some of the things that I'm giving you a value, please take the time out to like, share, and comment. You know, sharing is caring. And then definitely follow me on my other pages. The, my Instagram at I am Dolores Franklin. My Twitter page, which is Ask Dolores. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dolores Franklin. Until the next time, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all have a good one.